here's the block um, back from the machine shop. If you remember, uh, I had it hot tanked uh, because of those goofy little brass eyelet rivet things from the gaskets. Um, I couldn't track them all down. Um, so I had to pull the whole block apart. I had no plans on re-ringing this thing, but basically everybody I talked to said you pull out those slugs, you better re-ring them unless you get the rings in the exact same spot, which obviously wasn't going to happen. So if it's going to be re-rung, then it needed to be um, honed. So I had the machine shop hone it with torque plates, so a pretty accurate hone. Um, and then also uh, they had them hot tank the heads and then all the uh, other aluminum pieces. All the rest of the items on the table are the new stuff that I bought. Came from uh, three different places, Texas Speed, uh, Good Old Jegs, and Scoggin Dickey um, performance products. I'll go over real quick kind of what's here. Uh, so this is the valley tray that you need for the DOD Delete. Uh, this is my new cam in the box there. It's a stage one from Texas Speed. This here is a uh, spring and seal and retainer upgrade kit to go along with the cam. New lifters because needed those again for the DOD delete. New push rods, um, stronger push rods than the, uh, than the stock ones. That's a trunnion upgrade kit. It was recommended to, to do. Wasn't too bad. It was like 120 bucks. Um, for the rockers, a, a high volume um, or high pressure oil pump. And let's see, gaskets for the front cover. Um, man, in this box is just all sorts of stuff. Uh, I have ARP head bolts, new gaskets, uh, new rod bolts. Um, and the box underneath is a rear cover and seal. Believe it or not, it was almost cheaper to buy the whole rear cover with a seal than just the seal. Crazy. Um, we got lifter trays and damper bolt. Um, timing gear and the tensioner um, in that box there. So a lot of stuff, the main caps and bearings and everything have been cleaned up and right now I'm working on the pistons. Uh, this is one before cleaning. You just have to remember everybody, you've got to label this stuff. I mean, the, the bearings, the caps can only go on one way. Uh, everything's got to go back in the same place that it came out of. The walk to end breast cancer. Save money, sleep happy. For over four decades, a true American band. This is America. An unforgettable evening with America. Friday, April 7th at 9. Spot here. Part saved. I have a ID. If people want to get involved, they can just buy it. Final cleaning and putting things back together, you're going to want to use a lint-free towel. Um, the best thing I found is the old bed sheet, actually. So, my favorite stuff, brake clean. Put a little on the rag. I'm going to put these bearings back in here. Clean that up. Right off. That's the rod side. Take my rod side bearing. Same thing with the back side of that. I'm going to go in one way. Again, these bearings look really good. There's no reason to be replacing them. Do the same thing on the cap. So when it's all done, Put it in a bag. This is a piston from the number eight cylinder. All the old stuff, the rings, um, and the rod bolts. I'm actually putting in new rod bolts. All that's going to go in here. I don't throw out anything. To get rid of anything. So the job is totally done. Uh, one thing I'm going to do now is is actually um, chase out the head hole, um, head bolt. Hole. So what I did to help clean out the holes is I ground a groove in an old head bolt. Again, these head bolts are torqued to yield. You can only use them once. So I bought a new set. Actually, I bought ARP brand. Um, but the idea with the groove is that it can help be a, 
be a clean out, um, sort of like a tap. Uh, so I'm just going to run those down the holes and make sure everything's cleaned out. Again, the block was hot tanked. It really shouldn't be any issues, but better safe than sorry. Well, everything looks clean. Um, I don't see any any gook coming out on you. You can't be clean enough. This thing came back from the hot tank at the shop. I spent easy 40 minutes out in the driveway with hot soapy water in the garden hose, getting everything as clean as possible. I'm going to use brake clean. And my favorite two things, you've heard me talk about this before, I buy stock in this company because I, I buy so much of this stuff. Anyways, and you need lint free towels. Um, these are bed sheets. There's an old bed sheet. Got one from the wife. Cut them up, got them all ready to go. So basically, I'm going to go through and now really clean up the, uh, the cylinders, the lifter bores, and then under going to flip the engine over and do where the um, where the main caps and the crank and everything is going to go because that's going to be. So I've been cleaning the cylinders. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see all the dark, the dark brown that's on there? You got to keep going until that does not show up at all anymore. All right, so I finished cleaning the block. Um, the, uh, the bearing surfaces here, I'll give them one more wipe down with some brake clean. Um, I've got everything else here ready to go. But the crank is there all cleaned up. Um, here are the main caps. My bearings, again, in bags labeled. What's cap? what direction they go, and then all the bolts. So we're going to start assembling this thing. Uh, there's, they're numbered right there with an arrow. So this is the fifth one, fourth, the second, third, second, and then the first one labeled with one and an arrow forward. I've set them up this way from back to front and that's how I have the motor oriented to try to keep track of things. This, everything has got to get back together the exact same way that it came out. So we'll start with the number one on the block side. Uh, these, these bearings have a, most bearings are like this, they have like a little tang on them and then a groove form in the block. So you really, you can't, you can't get them messed up, um, you know, this way. So you just put them in. Make sure they're seated good. That's all there is to it. Bearing number three on an LS block is the thrust bearing. You see it's different than the other bearings. It's got these, it's got these walls on it here um, on both sides where the other bearings don't. And that's for the, uh, the crank going back and forth this way. Putting together an engine like this, or any engine, you're going to want to use assembly lube. This is almost like a grease type substance. So put a dab on the uh, on the bearing, and then just make sure it's coated good. Now it's just a matter of setting the crank down in there very carefully. I put the bearings into the into the caps and put the uh, assembly lube on those. Start with number one. These are a pretty tight fit. Should go down in there. Oh. One down. First bolts to go in are the inners. Put all those in place. Now I put a little bit of oil on these threads and under the heads, um, per the book, so that that's okay. These will be torqued in a sequence, uh, starting in the middle and then goes like this, alternating going out. First we've got to just get these snug down to get these caps drawn down. Now I'm going to, tor to torque them to the first sequence, which is 15 foot-pounds. One, two. So the next step is to set that thrust bearing in the middle. So you need to hit the crank back and forth to, um, to get that set. 
You can do it as many times as you want, but the last time you do it has to be in the uh, forward position, I believe. Move it forward. And then the last step is to go forward. The next step is to finish torquing these center bolts. But on this motor, it's not a uh, just a torque reading. It actually is an angle reading. Uh, and I have to turn them 80 degrees. Now, I've seen people online that just kind of guess at this. They put a mark on the, on the head of the bolt and turn until it looks like it's 80 degrees. Um, I bought this thing online. Amazon.com was like 15 bucks. And that's exactly what this thing is for. It's 80 degrees. Just keep going the same the outer ones. Very similar, similar to how the inner ones were done. Torque down to 15 pounds, and then these get turned 51 degrees. So this new one needs to get turned to 51 degrees. There's 30. Forty, fifty, and fifty. The next are the side bolts because uh, these are six bolt main caps. They go uh, right in, uh, right in here. Um, those are them. I'm going to reuse the old ones. Uh, put some red RTV sealant around the outside, and they get torqued into 18 foot pounds. Just snugging them up into 18 foot pounds. And again, I'm going to go in the same sequence as. Uh, as how I did the um, the other bolts on the caps. Team, this side, and I'll move to the next cap. 